Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to the Heart Space Theory on Astrology. I hope you guys are doing well. This reading will be for Pisces. It will be a bonus birthday uh, reading. Happy birthday, Pisces. We know that Saturn moved into your sign on the 7th, 7th of March this month. And all I can say that is going to be a very transformational period for you for the next three years or so. I, well, I was meditating uh, in your energy for a little and I got this confused energy coming from you. I think this uh, Saturn in Pisces, it's really, it's really kicking your butt right now. <laughs> it's giving you some hints regarding what you have to change during this period you will have to find some avenues to work with uh, with Saturn during this time and I know you will harvest a lot of rewards by the end of it I know that a hundred percent all right I want to get into your spread let's see what it's your energy right now what can you tell me about Pisces right now spirit guys thank you so much I am using the everyday enchantment tarot deck for you today let's find out thank you so much for you guys let's find out what is the most significant energy that you are in right now Oof, ten of swords no wonder Saturn is coming after you <laughs> Saturn is demanding answers. Saturn is demanding um, an awakening process coming from you. You're overwhelmed right now and confused about these energies that are coming towards you. But also, you might have some fears regarding something in your life. We'll have to, we'll have to clarify this energy, okay? Let's move on. What do you have to let go during this period? What is it for spices, please? What do you have to let go? Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Thank you. Seven of Swords and Six of Swords. Wow. This is a major period for you, Pisces. There's shifts. There's shifts at every step of the way if you are you know if you're running from a decision that you had to take for a long time Saturn will bring that up into your consciousness so you can deal with that okay there's some aloofness coming from this energy it can be somebody that's external you are called at this time to move away from this energy we'll clarify okay what to look forward to this year what to look forward in this year what will this year bring to you wow two of swords and ten of pentacles you're called by your spirit guides to embrace this financial change that's coming to you. You might have to restructure your business. You might have to find a better job. Okay. There's, there's a decision that you are called to take. Okay. Decisions about your money. Decisions about your maybe retirement plan. Decisions on how you look at money and what money means to you. Let's keep going and we'll clarify. Tell me what is the important lesson for the year? What is the important lesson? Most important lesson for Pisces, King of Swords, Fairness, this gives me the justice vibes, right? Libra energy, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. 
I thought you to stand up for yourself. Pisces, you know, I have a lot of um, Pisces people in my life and the way they are giving, it's very unconditional. The way they are giving sometimes leaves them empty. You might give too much right now. You might have given too much. The important lesson is that you have to protect yourself. You have to make sure that your needs are taken care of. Okay, before you can share your money, time and energy. Stand up for yourself. That's what I heard. You've learned to stand up for yourself. Also, you've learned to be more clear in your communications and your decisions. You've, uh, you've cleared something uh, mentally. And this will help you take decisions that will bring you a successful outcome. What do you need to focus on right now, Spices? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Knight of Cups. Water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Share your beautiful creative gifts to the world. For most of you, you are very creative, okay? You might be a musician, you might, you might be a painter. You might do something very creative with your hands, okay? And so your spirit guides want you to focus on your gifts and talents during this time and share them into the world. Also, your creative side will bring somebody a love interest in your existence, I heard. Focus on what you love, what you are passionate about. And during this journey, you're going to meet somebody very special. You're going to meet a soulmate that you will hold dear for the rest of your life. Tell me about Pisces aspirations, please. <laughs> the star, how beautiful, how beautiful. Aquarius energy. Let's be honest, you love helping people. You love giving your time and energy, volunteer work. You're being called to do volunteer work at this time. You go, you're called to expand your generosity during this time, okay? For some of you, you are aspiring to maybe be in the medical field to um to give to a cause okay to be more helpful in this world you might be an environmentalist okay you might want to bring people together regarding a cause you're really good at that pisces please whatever you're called during this time whatever your intuition is nagging at you at this time please listen to it you're made for this Pisces. Ah, oh, gorgeous. I'm not going to take these two, but I'm just going to look at them. Knight of Swords and Queen of Swords. Yes, whatever you're called to do right now, to pursue at this time, is going to be a very fruitful time. With Saturn in your sign, whatever you're putting time and effort into is going to grow. Okay? Let's get a message from your higher self. Thank you so much for you guys. What do your higher self like to tell you right now? Wow, four, four. Four, four, and nine. Wow. Do not close up. Do not close your heart, I heard. If you are feeling stressed and overwhelmed, Spend some time in nature. Spend some time with the people you love. Number four. It's a very hardworking, practical, and patient energy, right? The number four. That's what it symbolizes. 
your higher self wants you to take steps towards social connection, towards connecting to the people, to Mother Gaia, connect with your pets, okay? Connect with Mother Gaia's roots. There's a lot of people that love you, Pisces, and there's a lot of people that see your worth. They see your value. Thank you. That was your higher self that said that. Oof, I'm getting chills. Okay. And Ten of Wands. Yeah. As I said, I sat in your energy and I really started to feel confused and overwhelmed. And I do think that Saturn is doing that to you right now. Okay, let's clarify. What's your energy right now? Please, thank you so much. It's going to come out. Nine of Wands, Nine of Nine of Cups, the Hermit, and King of Swords. King of Swords again. And this energy came as what's the most important lesson for this year. I heard self-worth. There's some limiting beliefs about your worth that needs to be caught right now. There's some fears towards your wish fulfillment. There's some fears that if you are opening up your gifts, your talents, and your brilliant mind, I heard, things will hurt or things will not come out as you would like them to be. There's guidance at every step for you, Pisces. Your spirit guides are always available to you to protect you and to guide you, okay? What do you want to create? What are your dreams? What are your wishes at this time? When you believe in something with all your heart and all your being, when you're visualizing that thing, when you're putting in your time and effort and you're being consistent, there's nothing that will stand in the way. Okay? Cut through any fears and illusions here. Just be yourself, okay? Be yourself and understand that Saturn wants to bring you rewards, wants to bring you gifts. The beginning is going to be a little uncomfortable, until you find ways to communicate and to understand the Saturn energy. But once you uh, have a little understanding of what Saturn wants from you and wants to bring into your life, you have the capacity, Pisces, to have a beautiful relationship with Saturn. I do believe that. Let's see. What do you have to let go of? Seven of Swords and Six of Swords. Thank you for you guys. Wow. Yeah, there's some um, energies, external influences in your life that are being very aloof and deceiving. And you have to move away from that. The Sun and the Three of Pentacles. There's enlightenment. There's revelations about whatever energies are lurking right now around you and are not being honest. Are not being truthful they can be work um, they can be someone from your work they can be somebody that you actually have some kind of project at this time somebody that's been in your, in your life for quite a while I heard there's release there's secrets revealed there's healing and truth okay your spirit guides are helping uh, shine a light on whatever dark corners and dark energies are are in your vicinity okay can you give me a little more about this thank you so much seven of pentacles and four of cups i think you have a hint your spirit guides and your higher self are preparing you and they are giving you information at this time about who these energies are in your life the only thing that you are encouraged to do right now is um, meditate okay find ways to meditate 
and also quiet your mind so you can get clarity on this situation. You might have put some money into a project and now you're seeing that the seeds are not growing, that something it's not, something is fishy in this energy. You expected some kind of return and it's not coming. Now you have to look at it from a very objective uh, point of view. Hmm. Okay. What should we clarify? Let's clarify your important lesson here, King of Swords. Whew, did you see how that flew? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. You've accomplished this lesson. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Whatever confusion and illusions you've been harboring in your mind and in your life, you've cut it. You've cleared it with this King of Swords. You've said enough is enough. I am going to take my losses, if there are any losses right now. And I am going to take this new opportunity and do what I want to do in this life. Anything else? Wow. I just said that I'm feeling the justice coming from this King of Swords. There you go. Justice is here. Libra energy. You're standing up for your beliefs. You're standing up for your truth. You're standing up for your happiness. You have an incredible way to bring into reality whatever you want, Pisces. Work with this beautiful justice energy to bring things into balance, to cut through any illusions that you are feeling at this time. And to spend time being your beautiful self, spend time being your healing self. You heal people just by being in their energy. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. What you need to be focusing on right now. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Wow, big change. Big change energy, five, five. And the world, perfect. Pisces, this is going to be an uncomfortable and maybe at some time unpleasant. But whatever this uncomfortable energy is um, bringing in, Again, talking about Saturn, because Saturn is going to be very impactful in your life. It's going to bring the world. It's going to be, as you know, the world, it's Saturn, it's Capricorn, right? It's Saturn energy. This tells me that whatever limitation, restrictions, stress, confusion that you've had in your life until now, it's going to be released. You're moving into a new fruitful cycle, Pisces. Just by being you, really. Just by honing into your beautiful, empathetic, and compassionate nature. And by being such a generous spirit, you know. Your spirit guides are showing me the hangman right now. And uh, this tells me that, and it is Neptune, okay? It's your ruler. Now, this person is suspended, right? It's hanged upside down and it's suspended in an alternate reality. You're bringing a lot of downloads, information, healing vibrations, I heard, from different dimensions. And you are honing in and bringing it into reality. And that will expand your power, that will expand your gifts, that will expand your life. Ah, oh, Pisces. Incredible reading. Tell me more about the star. Your aspirations. Eight of Wands. Can be travel. It can be quick communication and action regarding something. Taurus energy, the Hierophant, Ace of Wands. And seven of wands. Wow. 
there's new beginnings knocking at your door right now and it has to do with all your creative side okay if you've been i don't know if you've been into herbs for a long time and you've always seen yourself having a business you know for whoever i'm reading there's some kind of inspiration that you've had for a long time and now during this time you are going to work hard towards that there might be some limitations on the road seven of wands is here you are ready to fight though you are ready to stand up your ground and say no i'm protecting my passions i'm protecting what i'm believing in i am no longer confused or stressed i'm no longer in a foggy energy about what i want in this lifetime and i'm going to put a lot of hard work into this because i want i want this ace of wands whatever this new inspiring driven energy here you are going for it you're reaching for it look at that look at the star okay unlimited potential you got it pisces run with it And let's see, your higher self, anything else that we have to know? Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, and Four of Cups. For Pisces, please. Five of Swords, Queen of Wands. There might be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries that you have to move away from. That you've been in some kind of competition or some kind of conflict or struggle with this person and your spirit guides and higher self especially is telling you that it's time for you to move on strong and clear yep nine of pentacles eight of cups wow something is unfulfilling for you right now and it's been for a long time i heard do not let it bring you into a state of stress fears and confusion release this baggage this emotional baggage and start fresh start fresh on your journey Ooh, okay strength at the bottom nine of swords again ace of cups six of swords yes take take this journey pisces it will bring you ace of cups it will bring you self-love but also an offer of pure love outburst of love incredible i love these spices i know it's 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 a really monumental period for you i know that i'm feeling that but i know that by the end of 2026 when saturn will move out of your sign you're going to build something that nobody can deny you're going to build an immense feeling of value and self-worth. And also you're going to build your legacy straight up. I want to get a couple of uh, Oracle cards for guidance for you, Pisces. Okay, this one to come out. Truth be told, yes. Allow your truth to come to the surface number five again wow poised mm -hmm. once you have uh, you have allowed this truth to come to the surface beautiful things will come your way rewards will come your way i can assure you of that and a change the wind exactly there's a change for you pisces now are you ready to put in the work are you ready to put in the effort into creating your legacy. You have all the tools. And tick tock. All right, so that was the wisdom of the Oracle deck and I'm going to use the Animal Oracle for you right now. Let's find out what other energies your spirit guides would like to convey to you and messages. Overcome any obstacles, number five again. Wow. It might be life path five. Um, May can be a significant time for you, Pisces. Magic works through you. 
scarab beetle spirit. You have a lot of magic to share to the world. Work with your creative side. You're so good at it, Pisces. Anything else for you guys? Nothing is wasted. I love this energy. The vulture spirit. You might have some kind of connection with vultures. A rebirth is assured. By the end of 2026, a big rebirth will come into your life. Trust in the magic. There's a lot of magic, right? Magic works through you. Trust in the magic. Trust in yourself. Trust that you can make happen whatever you put your mind to, okay? If you want to create a business, if you want to create some kind of legacy, it's within, okay? Let it express itself. Let it come into fruition. A last card from uh, The Soul's Truth. If you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And let me know how this resonated with you, Pisces. I would love to know more about your energies and how you're feeling during this period with Saturn in your sign. All right, let's find out what else is to come through. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? Take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Today's soul action. Ask yourself, what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart crave? Then take one step in that direction. One step, it's all it takes for you to create that movement, okay? To create that movement energy within you. And Saturn will be your friend. I know that. Thank you so much, Pisces. I really hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed the reading. And I really hope to see you next time. Stay kind to yourself, okay? Right? Happy birthday once again. Bye-bye.